Arthur and the New Kid, Mark Brown. When you hear this sound, please turn the page. Arthur's class was writing about their summer vacation. Suddenly, the door opened. In walked someone new. This is Norbert," said Mr. Ratburn. He has just moved to Elwood City. Take a seat anywhere, Norbert. Norbert took a seat in the back near no one. He thinks he's too good for us," whispered Francine. "Yeah," said Buster. "Look at his jacket." Soon it was lunchtime. Arthur and his friends sat together. Look," said Muffy. "Here comes Norbert the nerd." Norbert walked right past them. "He's sitting with fourth graders," said the brain. "He's stuck up," said Francine. "Maybe he's just shy," said Arthur. I bet he's rich," said Francine. "He doesn't bring his lunch. He buys two slices of pizza, a milkshake, and lemon cake." "Yeah," said Buster. "He's too cool for this school." After lunch, Mr. Ratburn said, "Norbert, why don't you sit near the others?" Norbert moved up next to Francine. "Don't worry," she said. "I take a bath every night." Everyone laughed. <laughs> Here's a problem," said Mr. Ratburn. "If a rooster laid two eggs in a bird nest, five eggs in the pig pen, and three eggs in the barn." How many eggs did the farmer find? The class was quiet. Put on your thinking caps," said Mr. Ratburn. But no one said a word. No answer, no recess," said Mr. Ratburn. Then Norbert whispered something to Francine. Francine raised her hand. Yes, Francine. Said Mr. Ratburn. The farmer didn't find any eggs. She said. Roosters don't lay eggs. Mr. Ratburn smiled. Thank you, Francine. He said. Or should I thank Norbert? At recess, Arthur and his friends played soccer. Norbert watched Buster kick the ball off the field. Norbert jumped up. He bounced the ball off his head and back to Buster. Wow! said Francine. He's really good. Want to play? Arthur asked Norbert. Sure, he answered, and he kicked in two goals before recess ended. Francine ran up to Norbert. Thanks for getting us recess. You're really smart, she said. Norbert blushed. Oh, that rooster question is in a riddle book I have, he said. After school, Arthur and Buster asked Norbert to go to Arthur's house. Okay. Said Norbert, and he pulled off his tie. I had to wear this tie and jacket at my last school. My mother made me wear it today, but I won't wear it again," he said. "Way to go, Norbert," said Arthur and Buster. 
Call me Bert, said Norbert. High five, said Arthur. And they did. Thank you.